Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy. And in this video, we're going to show you Micro Mini 2306 BHS by Winnebago. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul the Air Force guy. If this is the first time you're joining me, I appreciate you watching. Uh, do consider subscribing to my channel, click down below, and that bell right next to subscribe, that will notify you when I put up new videos. But let's get on to this camper. So your spare tire, the ladder going to the roof, it's wide frame for rear observation camera. And also your outside shower is right here. So this is looking at the roof. Now this is a TPO material. You're not having a rubber roof. You can see you have the King antenna. Everything is sealed quite nicely up here. This is looking towards the front. You're able to get up here, sweep off your slide out before you bring it back in, and then looking towards the back here. Now, people ask me all the time, well, Paul, are we allowed to get up here on the roof and walk around? Absolutely. The other beauty of it is you want to get up here and take in the scenery. I mean, look at the scenery you're able to take in while you're on top of your roof. So this is your door side. You have a nice big awning. It even comes out over the door. You've got the LED light strip if you need to. Outside stereo speakers so you can enjoy the music while you're sitting out here. You can control that on your, on your phone using the Bluetooth part of your stereo. On top of that, let's say you want to watch TV out here. You want to watch a movie, maybe some NASCAR, maybe some football, whatever, baseball, basketball. You can hook your TV, plugs in 110 here, cable or your uh, local TV channels you can get to and it has the backer location so you're able to mount the TV out here and take all that in while you're camping. It makes it awesome to be able to sit out here and watch your favorite shows regardless of what they are. Now all the micro minis now are coming with the adjustable axle. So you know you can see some of these is talk about the off-road package, extreme weather package, heated and closed tanks. I'm gonna go over that stuff, but the off-road package, it's gonna be on all of them. Basically what you have is this adjustable axle system. So right now it's at the lowest setting, giving you the most ground clearance as you can see. And you can actually adjust it, that's three inch adjustment there. And then if you wanted to adjust that so it's sitting lower, because maybe the step was too high for you or whatever, you could put a smaller tire on there and lower that about three, three and a half inches. Now, because this is a, a bunkhouse one, they weren't able to put the black tank rinse on the other side, So, but it does have the black tank rinse. The benefit there, you don't have to drag a hose in and put it down your toilet makes it very much a lot easier for you to go ahead and clean out your black tanks. Fresh water fill as well as a water heater here. Now since your fresh water fill is right here, that means the fresh water drain is going to be down under here as well and there it is right there. So anytime you see a fresh water fill on a camper, typically right under that side is where you're going to notice the uh, the valve so you can empty the fresh water tank. Now you're going to notice that they have the Aluma tread steps. Nice thing with that is you don't necessarily need to put the covers over them because they actually have the rubber strip already on there keeping you from slipping and you can wipe your feet off because that's a rigid. You can see the ridges inside of the aluminum tread itself. Much lighter, easier to fold up and bring back out. Now you're going to notice on this door side as well is that you have the LP connection. Now the LP connection allows you to hook up a grill. Keep in mind it's going to be a low pressure one since it's past the regulator. 
Now I talked to you about the heated and enclosed underbelly as well as the heated and enclosed tank here. This just extends your camping ability. It does not make this a four season coach. On the front power tongue jack, you're gonna have uh, manual uh, stabilizers. Just use a screw gun for that, makes it real simple, three quarter inch socket. But what I love about what Winnebago does is the fact that they're giving you the 30 pound tank uh, covers. Now they're going to give you 20 pound tanks, but they give you a 30 pound tank cover in the event for those of you that want to upgrade to 30 pound tanks, you don't have to go buy a new cover. Just be sure that they, you use that cable, that little uh, bungee cord and hook this uh, cover on so it doesn't blow off as you're driving down the road. On the off-door side, first thing you're going to notice, you have the ZAMP solar connection plug right here. For those of you that want to uh, maybe in increase your camping capabilities when you're not plugged into power and uh, keep those batteries somewhat charged. Now taking a look at your storage capabilities here, this is one area you're going to be able to get to. Notice how the door actually has a magnet that holds it up, makes it easier for you. But look at all that storage. You're going to be able to put your camping chairs in here. You're going to be able to put your table in there that you wish. It makes it very easy for you to store things. Now the other thing I like about these doors is the, that these are slam latches so that all you have to do is slam the, the door itself and it will latch. Notice I only need one hand even though it's two locks to open that and it's magnetically held in place. Now, for those of you that maybe say, well, Paul, this isn't enough storage. Well, I'm going to show you another spot here in a moment. But while we're under here, this is where you have your battery disconnect. Or, you know, it's off right now, and then you turn it, now it's connected. So that's right here. Now, you're going to notice that this thing has panels on the back here. And I'll explain what those panels are for once we get inside. Now, because this is a bunk bed model, it has a door back here by the bunk. Nice thing, this area here, this is 64 inches in length. But when you fold this up, now you've got 46 inches in height. And this thing can be locked in place up here, as you can see. Giving you a lot more storage capability. So give you an idea of what you're looking at here. Now this is 46 inches and 46 and three quarter inches high. Now when it's down, then you can get access it from outside or from inside. All you do is move this uh, cargo netting and you're able to access this area. Because it's gonna be hard for me to show you when I'm inside, but right back here, these are USB ports for the person that will be on this bunk. They can actually recharge their phone or Game Boys or whatever. So as you can see back here, this is where you're going to hook your electric up. You've got your city water connection. You've got cable or, or satellite connection there. And then for dumping your tanks, very simply, it's right here. Notice it's not up underneath of your slide out, which is over here. You have a screen door, so that way on a nice day you want to leave it open, you can. Oh, actually, you could leave your door open, leave the screen closed. Let some nice air inside. Now, it's very windy today. You can see that the door is moving a little bit, but it's a friction hinge door. So that door is not going to be pulled out of your hand in the event you open it up. You have less chance of that thing coming out and smacking against your trailer. So another thing I like about this screen door is you have a door open, someone comes out the screen door, and it's going to close. Even though it's windy, it's a little bit windy right now, but notice it's still closed. Uh, wind's kind of holding up. So it has this new gadget on here. It's called a screenshot. It's a little bungee cord that'll help it close. So that way there you're not having to worry about the door being left open. As we go in, you have a nice big grab handle. You'll be able to utilize that to help you to come in. And on the door, you're going to notice they've added the shade to the window. And now you have a clear window, so now you can actually look out there, see what's going on. It's not that um, smoked glass. So you can have privacy, or you can use it to be able to uh, be able to look out and have additional sunlight come in. 
So first thing is you come in the door here, you notice you have these uh, switches here. So you must turn the switch on for your um, power awning and or your slide out in order for them to work. If you don't have that pow power on, these buttons will not work. Right below that, this is where you're gonna turn your water heater on. You have electric and propane, so that's all right here. And they're labeled as well for you. And your water pump switch. Right below that, you're gonna have your interior, uh, well, your awning light and your interior light switch. But that is right as you come in the door on the cabin. Let me give you a little preview of what the camper looks like. So that's looking towards the back. And then you're looking towards the front here. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the bed. Now this isn't just an ordinary bed. This is what we call a Murphy style bed. Now because it is a Murphy style bed, a couple of things. One, you're not gonna be able to walk down the sides. If you remember when I was showing the outside storage, the doors were much wider and giving you additional storage under there. That's because there is a sofa under here. That is where the storage is from the outside. Now the other thing you're going to have because it is a Murphy bed, this bed is going to be smaller than an RV Queen. Your typical RV Queen is going to be 60 inches wide by 74. Your residential Queen is 60 by 80. This one's going to be 74 length, but it's 54 inches wide. Now what you're going to be able to do though, now you want to use this during the day, you want to have a sofa, you just unlock it, there's an unlock thing here, and it'll fold up. And then your jackknife sofa, put that in place, and then you're able to use this as a sofa during the day. Now remember I was telling you outside, I showed you that panel that was on the end in the storage bin. Let me talk to you a little bit about that. In the event that in the process of the bed being up, maybe you left your uh, cell phone up there, maybe you left a tablet, maybe you left a remote control for the TV that is going to fall down behind the bed area. You're not going to be able to get to it from in here. You will need to go outside, take one of those panels off on the side, and you'll be able to fish it out in that location. This thing must be in the travel mode. This is much how it must travel. It is actually locked down. Do not drive with it in the up position. Hopefully you like that. Let me know what you think about the Murphy bed. Something you like, something you dislike. Um, it does give you the added advantage of actually having a sofa. You can leave that bed um, made up. You take your uh, pillows, you can stuff them up in the top if you wanted to. Make it a little bit easier for yourself. But you can leave that bed made up. You don't have to tear it down. But let me know what you think. You liking it or you not liking it? Let me know. Now, kind of give you an idea of what this bathroom, what the shower is like. You have 70 inches height to the ceiling. But up in the bubble here, you're going to have like 77 inches. Now, I'm... I'm five foot eight, about 170 pounds, so I'm kind of a smaller guy, but just kind of giving you an idea of what it looks like when I'm in here. I'm standing underneath, this is the ceiling part here, but if I stand in this area, but you can see the space-wise that you have inside your shower. Now it is the glass doors, which is nice, and they're magnetically held together. But that kind of, hopefully that gives you an idea of what type of room you have in the shower. Do try that out when you stop in. Now to give you a little bit better idea of what the shower looks like, you see a little uh, foot shelf there, where there when you need to shave your legs, gives you something to balance it on. Little shelf up top there, and that's that little bubble I was telling you about. Now you do have ducted AC in here, as you can see, and you're also gonna have the heat coming in here, which is right down below your sink. So that way there, the bathroom is gonna be warm when, you're, when it's cold out, and it's gonna be cool in the summertime. Plenty of room inside in front of that uh, toilet there. Nice little sink area. You've got a GFI protected um, outlet there. You're, this is one of your light switches for in here, so that's gonna be the light above the sink, and then you have another light switch you'll need to go ahead and turn on right here. Now, right above the toilet area, this is where you're gonna have your power vent fan for inside here. Nice thing with this versus the big fantastic fans is you're not pulling hot air or cold air into your camper. It's just gonna exhaust the fumes and so forth and the mist and so forth from the bathroom itself. Good size in the medicine cabinet up there as you can see. Down below your sink, storage there. 
and then your additional storage back behind the toilet there. Now let's talk to you about the bunks back here. Remember I told you about the netting so you can get to the storage down below. That would be down here. Then each of these beds have their own lights. Now this particular one back in the back, remember I showed you back in that back wall, you have your USB port. These are six feet in length, so that's 72 inches, by 28 inches wide. Now in the upper bunk, you have your USB in the ceiling here. But again, now they have a window on this one, and that actually can be opened for ventilation if need be. So these are the bunk beds. Now you do have your thermostat, which is controlled right here. And I'll put a video down below showing you how that operates. And I'll put that down below the video. So you have a good size refrigerator in here. Refrigerator freezer. I know, you know, when I go camp, it doesn't matter how big the refrigerator freezer is, I still have two or three coolers with me. Uh, but I'll put a video down below for the refrigerator on how to operate this so you'll maximize the cooling capabilities of it. Down below your refrigerator, you have your furnace as well as your breakers and fuses, making it easy for you to get to them and actually be able to read them, see what they're what they say and see whether they're on or off. Now with that furnace being right there, that's actually going to make it a little bit hot for the people there in the bunk beds. Uh, but the thermostat is right there as well, so expect that to be coming on and going off on a regular basis. Now what I recommend to most people because of that is to bring a ceramic style heater with them and you can set that up here on the countertop, you could set it up here on your dinette booth if you weren't using it for sleeping, you could set it in front of the TV, number of different places that you can supplement your heat uh, so you're not using as much propane in the colder weather. Now looking at your entertainment area, you're going to have storage over here, you have storage up above. So you can see nice storage, and then you're going to have storage down here, and it goes in pretty, pretty deep there, as you can see. That gives you the storage in and around your TV area. Now, besides just being an AM, FM, CD stereo, it's also a DVD player. It's Bluetooth. You have an aux plug. You have a USB plug. A lot of things you can do with that uh, for your entertainment purposes. Back behind your TV here, this is where you have, you'll have an additional 110 plug, you have USB ports here, and if you're hooking a satellite up, then the satellite would be coming in through that connection there. Now let's talk about this dinette booth. Comfortable seating for four people. If you needed to put a fifth, you could put a chair out here um, on the outside here. But this makes it a bed, it's gonna be six feet in length, 43 inches wide. Quite nice. And then you're going to have storage down below. Nice thing with the storage is you can get to it either here or you can remove the cushions if they're larger and put it in through the top. And there you have storage on both sides. Then if you need power there while you're at the dinette, you're going to see you have a GFI plug, 110 plug right there. So you're able to use 110 power while you're sitting at the dinette or if you're vacuuming in here and so forth. Nice big window that you can open up for ventilation. As you see, I had the shade pulled down earlier. And it's a good size window, deeply tinted, giving you additional privacy during the day. Now, because this slide out is a swim tech slide out, be sure that whoever is walking you through and showing you this trailer, make sure they show you where the control module is located. And this is what the control module looks like. That's going to be in one of two places. It's either going to be behind this panel right here, just two screws and it removes it, or, and I believe that's where it's going to be, but it is quite possible that it is put under here in that box right there. So one of two possibilities where it could be. Now back to your kitchen. Microwave, you get your nice splash um, guard back behind your uh, cooktop as well as the side. This is your three burner cooktop. 
so that opens up quite easily. Then of course it does have an oven. And you can actually use this stuff. Your counter space is extended by this counter extension on the end there. But take a look at what they've done also. They've given you this, this cool little grate so that if you need to rinse off things, you can rinse it up off, off over the sink. And then of course you have your cutting board. You can have that on there as additional counter space or you can remove it. Notice the high rise faucet getting up out of the way. And then you have another window there behind your sink area. Now storage is, is really good up above your, this is above the uh, sink as you can see. And I like the fact that they put this trailer weight information in here. And I don't know if you're able to see that okay, but it's 7,000 pound gross uh, vehicle weight rating. 4440 is your unloaded weight, so 4,440 pounds. You can carry over 2,500 pounds of cargo on this unit if you needed to. So they kind of overbuild it a little bit. And I'm going to show you something with these cabinets as well that I really do like. Taking a look underneath, this is underneath your sink area. This is where your water, you're going to be able to get to where um, your water heater is down below there for the bypass and so forth. And then you have two, and these are ex full extension drawer glides for the drawers. Nice thing with that, notice they're all four wood sided, ball bearing. That way there you can get to what's in the back of the drawer. Now I know you're probably saying, Paul, what are you talking about how this thing's overbuilt? Well, first of all, they're putting two 3,500-pound ax 3, axles on this thing. But when they're building these cabinets, take a look at them. They're not built like every other uh, manufacturer out there. It's actually solid wood core here. And I can actually take this, and I'm going to go ahead and pull on this thing here. I'm just shaking the whole camper here. It's not pulling this cabinet off the wall. Do not try that in somebody else's camper. It may not turn out too well, but White Winnebago builds theirs that is glued and screwed. It is not coming apart. Now you might say, well, what's the big deal with that? When you're pulling these things down the road, these things, it's like a constant earthquake with these. Hence the reason why these Winnebago trailers stay together much better than a lot of other trailers out there. So looking at the bedroom area there, you're going to notice that you have a curtain that goes around. It's curved. So you can actually have a little bit of privacy. Now, contrary to what some people might tell you, that is not a soundproof curtain. But you do have a bed, uh, vent uh, up above your bed, giving you additional uh, you know, airflow if you decide to do it. On both sides, you're going to have 110 outlets. But then on the door side one, you're going to actually have um, little USB 12 volt. I call them 12 volt. It's hooked into the 12 volt system. I realize it's not 12 volt, but it's hooked into the battery. Um, so in allowing you to use those if you're not plugged into uh, power and when you are as well. Now on both sides you're gonna have a little place where you can hang some things if you wish to. And when I was talking about how you can't walk down the side, this is what I'm talking about. So there's on this side and then on this side here. So it just kind of gives you an idea, but you get a little bit of extra room. You just might have to slide on down the bed. And then of course you can see the space up above the cabinets there. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 Micro Mini. This is a 2306 BHS. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul the Air Force guy. Do appreciate you watching. And again, if this, if you uh, just found my channel, please do consider subscribing. For those of you that have maybe watched my channel before, subscribe as well if you haven't already. And that little bell next to the subscribe button, or to the subscribe, that is if you'd like to be notified when I'm putting new videos up, click that and you will be notified every time I put a video up. So I do appreciate you watching. If there's something in particular that you'd like me to review for you, maybe a how-to video, how it works something, by all means reach out to me. Prices, specs, my contact information will be down this below this video. So thanks again. I'll be back at you again soon. Take care.